Cruising has changed a lot over the years, from cruising traditions of the past to more recent changes. These are the things that you may have loved, but you'll likely never see on a cruise again. Hi there, I'm Yolanda from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, if you have been cruising for many years, then you'll probably recall some of these nostalgic cruising traditions that we just don't see anymore. However, even if you started cruising just a few years back, you'll probably also notice that some of the things that happened just a couple of years ago, well, we are starting to see them fade as well. Now, of course, not all of these changes are bad, but I'm willing to bet that there are a couple of these changes that you might just miss. At least I know that I do. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention two things. Firstly, I'm going to mix it up a little bit to keep it fun. And I also do want to hear from you. If there's anything that I missed, make sure that you do leave it within the comments below. And if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one, golfing off the back of the ship. No, I'm not talking about miniature golf on a cruise ship. I'm actually talking about golfing off the back of the ship. Yes, a long time ago, that is an activity that actually happened on cruise ships. Now, you can understand why it was stopped. It was really bad for the environment, bad for the oceans, bad for marine life. It also lost a lot of golf balls. Many reasons that they stopped this. Please let me know if you've ever heard this before, seen any pictures or videos. Number two, skeet shooting. Now, I've actually seen some pictures and videos of this. It seems like this continued up until the early 1980s on some cruise ships. Yes, they actually did skeet shooting, again, off the back of a cruise ship. Can you imagine? Now, while I think cruising is pretty fun now, the rules were definitely different in those days. Number three, elaborate midnight buffets. Yes, they used to have on cruise ships, and honestly, it really wasn't that long ago. I think that many people that are watching this video actually had a chance to partake in the elaborate midnight buffets. That was when they actually had elaborate ice sculptures, uh, butter sculptures, bread towers, big fruit sculptures, lots of meat, seafood, ice cream, different desserts, and basically they really would serve at midnight an elaborate buffet out on the pool deck or sometimes in the main dining room. As you can imagine, this led to a lot of food waste and people really did start to eat differently and eat less late at night. So cruise lines did stop that tradition several years ago. Number four, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of flack for saying this one, but true formal nights. Now, I really just think that cruise line dress codes have changed a lot. We still have dressy nights. We still have formal nights where there really is a lot of fun going on. As a matter of fact, I was recently on a princess cruise where there was a champagne waterfall. It was really a great night, but that true formal black tie night, that really has changed over the years. Number five, smoking everywhere on a cruise ship and especially smoking on your balcony on a cruise ship. Now, personally, I'm happy that they've made this change, you are no longer able to do that. And basically this happened because it was a little bit of a tragedy on a cruise ship. And I think it was about 15 years ago, but there was actually a big fire that spread among the balconies. So on the outside of the cruise ship, and it looks like that was due to smoking. Now, cruise lines made a lot of changes after that incident, including using flame retardant paint, having a sprinkler system, but also not allowing passengers to smoke anymore on their balconies. Now, by the way, if you are a smoker, there are still smoking areas on the cruise ship, so not to worry. Number six, the cruise recap video. Now, if you cruised even just a few years ago, you might remember this. During the cruise, there was a videographer that would basically video record a lot of the things that went on on the cruise and you might have had a chance to be in that video especially if you participated in a lot of the activities and on the last evening of the cruise basically you would go to the farewell show they would show everybody all of the cruise passengers the video and then you would have a chance to actually buy the cruise recap video DVD. I think it was about 20 or $25, but of course, times have changed. We're all recording things on our phones and now it is no longer something we can buy on a cruise. 
Number seven, elaborate ice sculptures. Now I remember seeing elaborate ice sculptures in the buffet and outside of the main dining room. And this is just something that we don't usually see anymore on cruise ships. Now I know sometimes there are actually ice carving demonstrations. Please let me know if you've still seen these on cruise ships. Now, sometimes we do see those beautiful fruit carvings, but it does seem to be something that we are seeing less and less. Number eight. Now, I don't think that this is gone yet, but I do think that it is starting to go, and that is towel animals. Now, don't worry, we still see towel animals on several cruise lines, but it definitely isn't the standard anymore, and it certainly isn't something that we see every day. Now, even though towel animals are super cute, of course, to wash all of those towels, it is a little bit of a waste, so it probably isn't great for the environment, and it does take a lot of time for the cabin stewards to make them. So please let me know, do you like towel animals? Do you want them, or would you rather see them go? Plastic straws. Now, if you've been on a cruise or even on land, you know that plastic straws are basically well, they seem to be a thing of the past, and instead some cruise lines have replaced them with paper straws, some cruise lines have replaced them with candy straws, I do not like those, and other cruise lines have replaced them with these recyclable straws, which actually I think are pretty good. The in-person mustard drill. Now I think most people are pretty happy that the in-person mustard drill seems to be gone on most cruise lines. Instead, what we have is a safety drill and basically an e-muster check-in. Now this is definitely much more convenient than the old muster drill when we all used to either have to go stand right near the lifeboats or meet in a crowded lounge waiting for that muster drill to end. Now this was actually going to be a list of 10, but there were so many things that I'm actually going to go to number 13. So number 11, the topless sunbathing deck. So I think up until probably the late 90s or maybe the early 2000s, there was actually a topless sunbathing deck on cruise ships. Now on American cruise ships, this is no longer the case. Porthole window cabins. Now while we can still see porthole window cabins on some older cruise ships, and even occasionally there might be a couple of cabins on a cruise ship that have portholes, it really is much more rare to have that now. Instead, we have large picture windows for those ocean view cabins, and of course we have interior cabins, but we have many more balconies over the last few years on cruise ships. The turndown service, or in other words, twice a day housekeeping. Now some cruise lines still do have twice a day housekeeping, or the turndown service, so definitely ask for that if you're on a cruise line that does have it. However, many cruise lines have simplified their housekeeping and now are offering it only once a day. Now, personally, I love the turndown service because I like to feel pampered when I'm on a cruise and I definitely miss it when I don't have it. Chocolates on your pillow every single night. Now, I know some cruisers who have said that they would rather pay the cruise line an additional like $5 to continue to have their chocolates on their pillow at night because it does really just make it something special at the end of the night on a cruise. Now, not all cruise lines have done away with it. We even have some cruise lines now that are saying they're going to do it on the first and last night of the cruise. So please let me know what you think of that one and any other changes or things that we no longer see on a cruise please let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.